what a difference freaking one day makes. Yesterday it was like 30 degrees. Today it's like 55 degrees. And it's like I don't have to wear all that freaking winter gear. I still got a base layer on, a lightweight base layer. But it's like, ah, oh, today is going to be a good day. 20 degree swing in one day. But uh, I'm still having a little bit of congestion in my sinuses. And um, something else changed. My lips were chapped. And I never get chapped lips. And uh, that just tells me that I need to take responsibility for me getting sick. I was being irresponsible with hydration and also irresponsible with uh, keeping up with carbs while on the bike. So I make a carb drink uh, myself. I don't want to buy one. Those are That's too expensive. So I do like table sugar, maltodextrin, and uh, I do a little element in there for flavor. And... Um, I put like boiling water in there, dissolve it all and everything. It's pretty good, but um, it's really strong sometimes. So I was like diluting it over like a three, three day period. So I wasn't really getting carbs during my rides that much. It was like a diluted version of my special sports drink. Um, and on top of that, I was not drinking enough water. I mean, some days I'd go until the afternoon to drink water. So I have to take responsibility and say, hey, it was my fault that I got sick. It wasn't some magical virus floating in the air. Um, so yeah, it's like, if, if you wanna train and you wanna train every day, like you gotta be responsible and uh, keep up with everything else. It's not about just ticking off the workout. Yeah, it's not about ticking off the workout. It's about freaking uh, nailing all your marks in life too. Hydration, nutrition, uh, carbon up. Um, getting the stress down also you know a lot of people don't talk about when you're um, you're training what about your your family let's just set aside if you're a single guy well you know, even if you are a single guy it's like you still got uh, friends and family that you're you're talking with you, you can't just disregard that all the time but you gotta you gotta touch base with them say hey uh, I'm going for a ride um, you know, making sure everything's good, everything's taken care of, because you don't want to, you don't want to take your training and, and turn it turn it into um, disregarding everything else. Like you want a healthy balance of everything. So, I mean, um, in my in my twenties when I was full time training, I was a single guy. Yeah, I had a, a dog or two. Um, but I, I didn't really have a lot of, I actually didn't have any friends that I hung out with, just mainly at the track. And then, yeah, I'd see my parents every, like once or twice a month, pretty much. Um, so I didn't have a lot of responsibilities there. And uh, that's okay, I mean, I've always practiced that if, uh, say you have a friend in your life and they're, they're just kind of becoming a, a thorn in your side, if you will, it's okay to, to keep your circle tight and uh, cut them off. Like I, I had a, a friend even recently that was just like, don't go lady. That was just like trying to be in like competition with me in life. I, I mentioned, I was like, yeah, I got a minivan. Heck yeah. And this dude goes, well, I just went and bought a new truck. It's like, what? Like, how about you say, congrats, dude, freaking minivans are $40,000. You know, not that I paid cash for it, but it's just weird. So if, if someone's a thorn in your side, so say someone is like consistently hating on you, like, why are you training so much? It's like, well, maybe it's time to reanalyze, you know, if, if they're actually a friend. You know, maybe they're just a hater. And sometimes you just got to, you know, put your guard up and uh, maybe stop talking to some people. But um, the goal today is, uh, like I was mentioning last time, it's like, I feel like a caged beast, but I, I, I still don't know, like I, I reviewed my heart rate over the ride from yesterday. My heart rate was kind of high, dude. It, it was, it said average 136, but in the beginning I was a lot of, doing a lot of stopping and going with the filming. So in the end, it was like 140, 150, and that's kind of creeping up into zone three. Uh, and I wanted to ride the e-bike today, 
But the e-bike, I, I didn't start charging it until like this morning and it's not fully charged. So I got my hardtail and uh, I'm just gonna have to go really slow. <laughs> I'm gonna have to go super slow and um, try to stay in zone two, I guess. Maybe, if, maybe like an hour in, if my heart rate's not like creeping up, maybe I'll do a couple like intervals, maybe like a three, four minute threshold interval or something like that, just to feel it out. Cause I just gotta, I'm so pent up, you know, I just want to freaking go fast, but I gotta practice patience. I feel like, uh, I feel like Mr. Miyagi on myself. <laughs> just gotta practice the fundamentals, you know, the wipe on, wipe off. And then eventually I'll freaking sprint my ass off. <laughs> so, but I came prepared. I got carbs, made a fresh batch of carb special drink. I got a full freaking camelback of, that, that was the last thing, freaking last ride. I set my camelback in my car and just the weight of the backpack on the little mouthpiece, it freaking drained all over the back of my car. And then uh, I didn't, I didn't have a chance to fill up my camelback no fault of anyone's but my own um so yeah just being irresponsible and you gotta be you gotta be on top of your game if you want to if you want to transform yourself into uh, below average to above average so yeah i'll uh i'll get all warmed up and i'll see you out there yeah today i'm riding the uh the nice hardtail the bird with uh, flat pedals, which I don't usually do. I'm trying out these uh, these new flat pedals. They look like they got a lot of grip. I'm just trying to break in those damn shoes. <laughs> Still at that. How long does it take to break in Crank Brothers shoes? Yeah, trying to keep the heart rate real low. So. 128 looks pretty good. I still don't know if I should keep it low on the downhills. Like I'm not pedaling, and my heart rate will be all high. Still not sure on that. Yeah, there. Feels nice to be able to get low. <laughs> this thing does not turn as well as the XC bike. That's for sure. Well, made it out here with Jared. I'm fighting my heart rate. My heart rate in that climb was like 140. I guess that's still zone two. I, I don't have my power meter on this bike, but oh, it is what it is. Feeling good though. But these trails, it was like 20 degrees last night. Now it's 50 degrees. So they're all like a little soupy on top. But uh, let's see how it goes. Should I go for another KOM today? That, that's gonna be like, Three days in a row. <laughs> All right, let's hit it. Yeah. <laughs> Oh. 
nose bonk. Oh, going too fast. <laughs> Flat corner feels out the uh, the tire grip. Pretty cool. I'm going two miles an hour up this climb right now. <laughs> Getting passed by so many e-bikers today. It's a good day for visitors. Yeah, it seems like everybody's riding an e-bike, except me, because I forgot to charge it. <laughs> so yeah, two miles an hour uphill. I got my heart rate down to 130 though, that's good. That's, a, that's what we call fitness right there. Whew. You gotta chill though. Gotta chill. Doing this kind of stuff, like going this slow uphill, I think it takes a lot of mental toughness to like not, you know with the gym there's ego lifters. I feel like a lot of mountain bikers are ego riders. So, I mean, it takes, takes a lot of belief in yourself to go this slow uphill and get passed by this many people. <laughs> we do a medieval. Do you, uh, you want me to do like a scope and out run with you? Uh, trail speed. So okay. Just no full bore. Cause there's one double that What's the on it? I mean, it's it's small. It's like it's like three feet tall, maybe like ten feet long, and it is fucking fun. But it's like a little. It comes up at you fast, but it's fun. Okay, I'll I'll figure it out. I'll just uh like coast. Feels good to just chill in the downhill <laughs> instead of going for a KOM. It's right here, Jared. Oh, I'm gonna get blocked. Yeah, probably good that I didn't jump it. I know it's weird, but I'm just going into like this straight up most granny gear possible. But it, it's weird. So like these e-bikers will pass me or just like anybody, everybody's passing me, but they stop at the top, no matter if it's an e-bike or not. And I drop in before them most of the time. It's freaking weird. Yeah. Stopping at the top is, I don't know. I'd rather just get the most runs in. And that's why you ride an e-bike, is to get the runs in, you know? So, I don't know. Don't stop at the top, people. Just drop right in. Dude, it is. Like passing us, only to stop halfway up the climb, because they needed a break. What? Like, dude, they needed a break on the e-bike climb? That's crazy. Just keep a normal pace. <laughs> That's wild. Yeah, for XC riders, they'll actually rest on the downhills. That's kind of what I did that last time. It's freaking awesome. Usually I'm going for a KOM every time. So maybe I won't go for a KOM today. Maybe I'll just make today a endurance uh, zone two red. But we'll see. I didn't consult the uh, that little calendar that I saw the other day. The Tour de France coach. I didn't look at that. 
for this ride that I'm still, you know, recovering from an illness. I looked up online, like, can you cycle when you're sick? Cause I mean, I used to work out at the gym when I was recovering from a sickness, but XC and endurance riding, it's so different from sprinting and anaerobic. So I looked up, it said, uh, anything from the neck down, illnesses, sicknesses, symptoms, it says that's bad, you should probably rest. But if it's neck up, then you're fine. That's all I have, that's all I've ever had this whole time. Yeah, I was a little tired. I just have some nasal congestion. That's it. So, one of these days I'm gonna do some sprints though, or some intervals or something. <laughs> Okay. All right, another chill run on medieval. Oh, still kind of tight from the workout. <laughs> Pretty good carving those with the. Uh, air in my freaking tires. Yeah. Died. All right, all right, 144 that time. All right, that time I only cased the last one. You jumped it? I jumped everything. I only cased the last one. Heck yeah. Big improvement. I had to remember my, my all time favorite tip look at the landing, not the lip. Oh, yeah. I have to look past the lip or else I'm done for. I yeah, I think I look at the landing too. Yeah, if you look at the curve landing, it's so. Uh, so chill but if you look at that sharp kicker that like when people say they don't like step ups I'm like step ups are the best yeah. that's why dirt jump dirt jumps are all step ups usually I'm, competitions I'm happy with what I've achieved on that trail for today so like if you want to ride something else I'm down I'm kind of over climbing up this <laughs> all right let's let's go um yeah step downs I don't really like if you can't see the landing yeah I'm the same way uh, that that's how I felt about a lot of the seven turkey mountains Oh, Turkey Mountain, yeah. A lot of it's this place is scary. I bet it's chill though. I love this downhill. <laughs> yeah, I know. That's like it's... Oh, it's right here. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, this is a little tanky trail. Climbing up here though, heart rate was 125. Freaking awesome. But I'm showing Jared this this techy trail. It's pretty fun. Depends on how wet it is though. This is one of the best in Bentonville. It's called Bullet. All right, here's a little switchback. It's not like the other ones though. The other one has way more elevation uh, drop with the switchbacks. All right, so here's one of the questionable sections. <laughs> I remember the first time I hit this, like it looks so so narrow. Yeah, it's just the entry that bothers me. Uh, like, uh, yeah. <laughs> it's really fun though. And I don't think this is a true rollable thing. Yeah, it doesn't look rollable. It's, it's a drop, but super fun. Like at speed, it's it's just really natural. What line do you take when you take this at speed? Uh, right here. I just make it as straight as possible, okay. and I drop it. I see you can also come up here. Yeah. And get in the chute, but then you can get into trouble on the left side of your fork. There's this like little rock right here. I'm gonna roll down right now. It's a little sketch. Whoa. <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Good catch. I always like almost get myself into more trouble walking it than I would. Yeah. <laughs> I need to up my low speed. I don't know about that. That's a weird line. It, it's fun at trail speed. Yeah, I guess you just got to trust it. Yeah. This is another questionable area. <laughs> oh, it's a freaking cesspit right now. Um, well, this one's weird. They built like a little catch berm right there. I'm trying to record for the people. Like a little catch berm. So you can you can like carry a lot of speed right here, technically. Yeah, I see it. But it's, it's pretty supportive. And then dropping into that is not like terrible like the other part. Huh. Yeah, so. I mean, these trails feel almost identical. It's just that this one has a drop on it. Uh, but the switchbacks are more forgiving, for sure. Yeah. Cool. All right. Well. Yeah, this is, not, this is Kyle riding. Yeah. <laughs> oh, right here is a little icky. Uh-oh. Almost had to bail off my bike there. Yeah. I know that wasn't the most uh, riveting experience, but uh, I mean, I'm not afraid to, uh, you know, tiptoe on a trail, stay safe. A lot of people, a lot of YouTubers would just cut that out. You know, they don't want to show that side of things. But I mean, that's like uh, scoping out a trail. And uh, hopefully you got some tips from that. But uh, you want to hit Strain Train next? All right, you hitting that one double, <laughs> the step down? Probably not. Oh, it's probably going to be wet. Yeah, I'll see how I feel. All right. All right, let's hit it. <clears throat> I don't think I've done this trail on this channel before. One's called Strain Train. Got a fun jump coming up. Oh, right here. Yeah. Whoa, slipped the pedal. <laughs> slipped the pedal going up a lip of all places. Okay. Uh, slow it down here. Not trying to go too fast. Uh oh, bad line. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> I don't usually have problems with that trail. Yeah, I don't know. I'm just, that, that was not a good run for me. Really? Through the rock garden, I got like pitched left and uh, I have not rode le left line forever. It felt different today, I don't know why. <laughs> I think it's just like, it was a greasy top layer that, I don't know, it's like on our tires and everything. It's just, yeah, it was a little different. Well, where to next? I still wanna hit rim trail if you're down to pedal out. Let's do it. We've got a four person group now. Uh, Everybody, uh, Everybody's riding today. This is my mandatory line right here though. Mandatory. I don't think I've ever passed that and not bunny hopped it. <laughs> Heart rate shoots up right when I do that. Shit. Staying in zone two is like the fun police is getting me, getting after me. It's like no fun allowed. I just got passed by a whole group of people. It's so funny. Apparently they're Nika people. And I was like, zone two. And they're like, oh, we get it. <laughs> it's pretty funny. Dang, that was cool. Whew. Yeah, so next up is rim trail. I'm gonna hit some chunk. I wanna see if I can keep my heart rate down during it though. Kinda let the bike flow instead of attacking. 
All right, following Jared. Let's go. Yeah. Oh. oh, fucking pedals, dude. Fuck. Both feet came off. That's fucked up. I might have to return these shoes, dude. Fuck. Fucking slip both feet. Jared, I almost died. What happened? Both feet slipped off the pedals. Oh, dude. Yep. The one rock garden where it's like kind of straight. Yeah, the long one. Yeah. Fuck, man. It's bullshit. I and mean, these pedals are good. I might have to get rid of these fucking shoes though. You see the shoes? How long was it? No. No. I got my foot back on, but one foot was like dragging like this. Yeah. Yeah, let me know how long Crank Brothers shoes take to freaking wear. Break in, I mean. And they were the, they're good. See the RC heads? Yeah, they're like 30 bucks a pair. These are 30 bucks. Yeah. I was like, no way. Are those new? Yeah. And they, they grip right away? Oh, yeah, they feel great. Yeah, wow. Yeah. And I had some of those, and they just have so much grip. These are excellent, yeah. but yeah, the, these I think you can get for like 50 bucks right now. So I wear, I wear the pros most of the wow. time. I'm, I'm probably gonna stick with these for a while. I was about to ask you, do you notice anything different? I'm on flats. I've been training on flats for the last couple uh, weeks. Yeah, with the two. Yeah. It took me a while to transition back to flats. Feels like I'm not wearing a seatbelt, so I'm not sure I like yeah, it. Yeah, that, well, that's why I'm wearing it, because I, I found myself uh, using it as a crutch in certain scenarios, and like I'm trying to. Yeah, I'm doing uh, clips on a hardtail from now on, that's for sure. Yeah. I'm just gonna go for it. I'll see you guys at the end. All right, let's see if I can do this. I've lost all confidence in my pedals. Or my shoes. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, this last part is hard. <laughs> I got it. Oh, I'm slipping pedals. <laughs> oh, thank you, thank you. Couple coming. Man, this trail is sketchy. Should be downhill only. So we're just rolling with it. Heart rate's popping up.
alternate line. Let's go. There's a guy right here. Oh, that are waiting. We'll deal. All right, 160. Yeah, let me know if I'm overtrained or what. It's freaking weird. Well, I'm cutting the ride a little bit short. I was aiming for like two hours of moving time, but I only got an hour and 36 minutes. Um, Cause dude, that bike is, is just unsafe right now. It is just, I cannot stay attached to the pedals. It's getting like worse even. And um, I'm trying to keep this channel like positive. I'm trying to stay very positive. Um, but it, I've been, riding bikes since I was like four years old. I'm 34 years old now and I have never ever had a problem where my freaking feet cannot stay attached to the pedals. I mean, you you can call me a fucking noob or all, everything you want, but nah, these shoes are getting returned and I'm gonna freaking get back to uh, my old shoes that are actually good. And uh, man, that, that is such a freaking bummer. But, um, let me back on out of here though. Need to head on home. Oh, we got some little guys there. Um, yeah, but so even though that was not my best ride, I was just like making some mistakes. I didn't get hurt, which is good. But even though it was not that great of a ride, I mean, there is literally zero downside to uh, stay, uh, zone two ride. So check this out, 10.8 miles, average speed 7.1 miles an hour, pretty slow. I climbed 1,250 feet and my average heart rate, I've never had it this low, 128. It's freaking awesome. And um, before in the summertime, I couldn't even, like when I was going really slow getting past today, I couldn't even get my heart rate below 150 going that slow before. So I've, I've definitely bridged the gap to, uh, you know, being a little bit more fit. Um, obviously I got a long way to go, but I, I'm not in, I'm able to get and stay in zone two and not just blow myself out nonstop. Oh, this is gonna be sketchy. <laughs> Merging onto a highway. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, a little sketchy. But yeah, I'm able to get into zone two, stay in zone two, and before I couldn't even, I, I couldn't go slow enough. I would have to walk or crawl up the hill, I guess. So there are some good takeaways from a shitty ride. Um, and I, I don't really feel like the sickness is causing any problems, so I should be primed and ready to go again for tomorrow freaking pumped on that and um i would like to start riding the xc bike but i'm i'm just not going to until i can um upgrade the thing to the moon the hardtail is running pretty good but uh yeah like i said i'm gonna clip in next time and uh we'll see what the weather's like i guess on tuesday it's saturday now saturday december 30th on Tuesday, it's supposed to snow here. <laughs> and if it does, dude, I'm, I'm going out to ride. I would love to ride with some fresh snow on the ground. Um, but I, I'm still trying to figure things out with um, making these videos. So obviously, you know, I was riding with somebody today, Jared and a couple other people. I don't really know um, how to like include you guys to make like a cohesive, uh, like you guys are there with me nonstop. But, at the same time, let me know if, if you thought that was that was all right. Um, I'm still learning. Um, 
but I, ideally I would just like to keep this going because making these these vlog fitness vlog videos are fucking they're so fun. I edited yesterday's video in like 30 minutes, um, so it, it's super fast turnaround time, and it, it really makes me happy to just like just be completely raw, just say whatever comes to mind, and um, and just kind of share this whole process with you guys. So I appreciate that. Um, Obviously, I'm, I'm like two weeks ahead of, from, from when I'm posting this, so hopefully by now I'm at like a thousand subscribers. That'd be freaking awesome. And uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.